Does changing mouth posture alter the growth of the face? Well, the whole science of orthotropics teaches that it does. But it is important that you support opinions with good sound-based evidence. And this is a case from a research project where we compared, uh, compared a group of patients who were being treated with the conventional methods of using train tracks to straighten the teeth and a group of patients who were being treated by changing their mouth posture by use of orthotropic treatment. It was an interesting comparison and carried out very scientifically. In terms of the science, the patients who were treated with the conventional methods grew on an average, that is their chin, grew forward and downwards at an angle of about 75 degrees. However, the patients were treated with orthotropics on average grew down at a direction of about 55 degrees, which is very much further forward. This is a good example of one of the orthotropic cases that was included in the study and gives you an idea of why we believe that it is so important to get the horizontal growth. Not only does it really improve the appearance of the face, but it straightens even quite crooked teeth. And in particular, it, the teeth stay straight afterwards and there was no form of retention. The teeth weren't held, the face wasn't supported. The training taught her to keep her mouth shut and with her tongue on her palate and subsequently she naturally grew like this. And to our mind this is far preferable to the techniques of orthodontics where you are essentially moving the teeth and not really altering the face very much and where the teeth need to be held with a brace afterwards for a long period, often the rest of the patient's life, while with the orthotropic treatment, the treatment should occur as a natural growth change without any need for anything to hold the teeth or the face in place afterwards.